All religions are one. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. The argument. As the true method of knowledge is experiment, the true faculty of knowing must be the faculty which experiences. This faculty I treat of. Principle first, that the poetic genius is the true man, and that the body or outward form of man is derived from the poetic genius. Likewise, that the forms of all things are derived from their genius, which by the ancients was called an angel and spirit and demon. Principle second. As all men are alike in outward form, so, and with the same infinite variety, all are alike in the poetic genius. Principle third. No man can think, write, or speak from his heart, but he must intend truth. Thus all sects of philosophy are from the poetic genius adapted to the weaknesses of every individual. Principle 4. As none by traveling over known lands can find out the unknown, so from already acquired knowledge man could not acquire more. Therefore, an universal poetic genius exists. Principle 5. The religions of all nations are derived from each nation's different reception of the poetic genius, which is everywhere called the spirit of prophecy. Principle 6. The Jewish and Christian testaments are an original derivation from the poetic genius. This is necessary from the confined nature of bodily sensation. Principle 7. As all men are alike, though infinitely various, so all religions and, as all similars, have one source. The true man is the source, he being the poetic genius.